I want to ask you about uh, the testimony of Mr. Comey um, um, and ask you if you can uh, verify um, or give us your uh, description of what occurred at the hospital uh, leading up to the hospital uh, visit that has become so famous. Um, um, Mr. Comey says that uh, he phoned you and you agreed to meet him at the hospital uh, and that you ordered the FBI agents uh, on Mr. Ashcroft's security detail not to evict the acting attorney general from the hospital room and uh, can you just give us, uh, I, I won't program what he said, I, I, I'd rather hear what you have to say about that whole sequence of events. I, I don't dispute what Mr. Comey said in terms of uh, receiving a call uh, requesting uh, my, uh, uh, by going to the hospital uh, and uh, alerting persons that uh, Mr. Comey wanted to be present during any uh, conversations that were had with the Attorney General. And uh, he further says that um, um, uh, that the president met with you and uh, after that meeting emerged to inform Mr. Comey that the president had authorized the changes in the program that had been sought by the Justice Department. You confirm that, that that's correct also? I don't dispute. I don't dispute what Mr. Comey says. Okay. Uh, what, what do you make of that whole... Uh, episode. Um. I'm, I'm, unfortunately, uh, Congressman, I don't think it's appropriate to speculate. I can, I can answer questions as to what happened to the extent that uh, uh, I'm able to, uh, but beyond that, I'd be happy to answer any further questions. Were, were you, well, can you confirm that uh, you and some of your agents were prepared to resign because of uh, leading up to this controversy? Again, I'm uncomfortable getting into uh, conversations I had with individuals uh, because I do believe that uh, individuals uh, uh, are entitled to my unfettered uh, thoughts. Can you Price. confirm that you had some uh, serious reservations about the war warrantless wiretapping program uh, that, uh, that kind of led up to this? Yes.